Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Christian Buddy Show. My apologies, I haven't been posting as much content as what I would like to. However, let's dive into today's episode and this is going to be a bit more off the cuff and I want to delve into my Catholic conversion or my, uh, I guess, recent divulsion into the Catholic faith. I was baptized originally, but now I have found God. I am going to church regularly and I am committing myself to God as as strongly as I can possibly right now with with my spirit. So I know that might sound a little bit funny to non-religious people or non-Catholic people, but that's fine. Um, I, I respect your belief mindset either way. Uh, I don't want to, I guess, enter into a philosophical debate. That's not the purpose of this video. So the purpose of this video is to, I guess, as a Catholic person, one of the major ideas is sin. And as humans, we all sin. This is just a normal part of who we are as humans. But I guess being a spirited person, being a person of the Holy Spirit, we understand or we experience what purity feels like. We understand what clean of or godlike energy feels like. We understand what that is. And for the most part, sin takes away that godlike energy. It opens us up to portals of dem- demonic entities or it opens us to portals of, I guess, feelings of shame, helplessness. So I've battled with sin, uh, specifically sexual sin. And for the most part, I'm here to, to tell you, no, I'm not going to tell you that I've overcome it because I think that all sin requires the submission towards God and the Holy Spirit to help thyself in order to, I guess, overcome momentarily these these sins. So you can never for sure say that you are over sin. It's like you can't take a, a recovering alcoholic to a bar. Even if they've been sober for six years, You you. it's not a good idea to take them to a bar. I want to hold that idea because I think that I've created... I've created an analogy in my mind, which is of uh, how to stay pure, how to stay pure in the spirit, and and I I I always envision a lid. So, whenever I commit a sin, I'm lifting the lid. So, to lift the lid takes some sort of physical or, in this case, mental energy. You need to lift the lid before you can commit the sin. So, in order for that lid to be tightly shut, you need to go through temptations. God will give you temptations. In other words, if you're battling sexual sin, you will be tempted in the form of sexual content and you must resist that in order to strengthen that spiritual lid. Once the lid's off, it takes a while to close that lid and then it takes another while to actually form a strong closing of the lid. Now I understand today's culture doesn't align with Christian values and that's fine because as a strong Christian, strong practicing Christian or whatever religious belief you have, I don't judge, you shouldn't normalize cultural norms because cultural norms have moved away from the the benchmark of of religious values or in that in specifically catholic values so uh, i guess what i'm trying to say here is that sexual sin has been accepted in society and it's nothing it's been overlooked quite easily but i know as a spirited man that holding the line is so powerful for your mental discipline is so powerful for your personal development, is so powerful to becoming the greatest and most powerful version of yourself that people can't handle can't handle that power. So it may sound esoterical what I'm what I'm saying, but most of what I'm saying is experiential and it can only be experienced. It cannot be rationalized. It can only be and 
You can only experience these things once you open your heart 100%. If your heart is not open, if your heart is open 90%, then you will not see the benefits of the Holy Spirit. So my apologies if this talk was not as precise as what you would like, but this is my understanding of sexual sin. I'm still going through a a strengthening process. Um, I'm journaling most days. Uh, if anything happens, if I sin, then I do journal because I want to become closer to God. I want to feel more spirited. And I, and I know times where I have felt incredibly spirited, my life flows so effortlessly. It's, it's so peaceful. And ultimately, that's what Catholics want. We want to become peaceful, more peaceful beings. Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll wrap it up there and hopefully you enjoy your day and sending blessings upon blessings to you. God bless. Let's go.